Hey, Dan Passarelli here. Well, I was talking with a friend of mine earlier today who is a business owner, and he was saying, hey, you have some time to talk strategy. Um, I'm afraid that there might be a recession coming, and I'm thinking about laying off some of my staff. And I said, well, you know, that's a, that's a tough one. And we kind of went through what some of the uh, expectations were for the Fed cutting interest rates and what that means and why that happens. We've talked about that in some of the past videos. And I think about that in my trading business. And I think about, you know, if there's a recession, I should be short the market. But the fact of the matter is, is that I don't know and the market doesn't know. And we can see that reflected in the things that we talked about in, for example, yesterday's video, the expectations for future rate hikes or not. And so how do you get around, uh, how do you get around that? Well, here's what I do. I trade the numbers. And that was basically my advice to him as well is see how your business is doing. And, you know, if you're getting the same amount of customers and all that, and if you are stand pats, and if not, then that might be time to make a change. And that's what I'm doing in my trading. If the market is going up, I'm not going to fight the tape, as they say. If the market is going down, I'm not going to fight it that way either. I'm going to let things play out, and I'm just going to simply trade those numbers and do, as I like to say, let the market tell me what to do. And that can be hard, and that can be challenging, but I think the less you try and outsmart the market, the better you can be as an active trader. I hope that helps. This is Dan Passarelli, Trade Smart. Yeah.